We're in the neighborhood of Muirlands, and what's famous about the Muirlands is you have estates all around that are an average price point of three million up to 24 million. And most of the Muirlands, the mid range is probably between six, seven, eight million. And what's beautiful about the Muirlands is that it was named after the naturalist John Muir. So you have a lot of trees. It's as much of country living as you're gonna get in La Jolla. The beauty of the Muirlands, like I said before, are the beautiful estates that are on either one acre, two acres or more on lush greenery. And it's old La Jolla. We're in old Muirlands. There's old Muirlands and there's new Muirlands. Old Muirlands gives you these estates. And what's very cool about the Muirlands, not only do you have the grand yards, but you have ocean views in some of the homes. So you have a little bit of both. It's country living at its best. As you see, there are no sidewalks. And here's a house that was just recently built, gorgeous Cape Cod. And as we turn around, you can see the ocean. Now this takes us into, towards the village of La Jolla. Now this is becoming the newer part of Muirlands. And um, you can see that the houses are closer together. Um, and it's a real unification because it's older homes are being torn down for new contemporary homes. Some side of the street, you cannot go up a second story because you'll block the view. So there's really tight CC and R's. CC and R's are covenant conditions and restrictions in a neighborhood. Some do not have, allow you to have a second story. Some say you can only build this on your house. You know, there's different rules and regulations, but mainly for La Jolla and the Muirlands specifically, it's more about not blocking you. Best time to be in La Jolla, quite honestly, is October and even into November, because this is our November weather. It's hot. It's gorgeous and there is a lot of spaces you can go to, not a lot of people. And you do get some fall foliage. Um, some of the maple trees around here, you'll see the leaves falling. Um, and it's a wonderful time to be in La Jolla. See the overgrown trees and the density of the landscape? That gives you a good indication that you're in old Muirlands. And you see a lot of building, like I said, old, older homes are being torn down, newer homes are being built. Um, in the years ago, there were a lot of ranch style homes and the homes that are on the cliff, if you can say, like these homes over here this way, you have an amazing ocean view of La Jolla. And we're gonna come up to this newly built $24 million home that is Gorgeous. See, there's a lot of character and charm in the mirror. The Muirlands is comparable to the La Jolla Farms in price point. The difference with the Muirlands is you're close to the village of La Jolla where you can walk. We're gonna take you on a street called Inspiration, and I love that name because it's so inspiring. Again, you have the ranch style homes, you have estates, you have homes. There's a house on Inspiration that's $26 million. And most of them are built by famous architects. And then if you look straight ahead, you're gonna see the views. So we're gonna wrap around with the murals and you, that's where you get the touch of the views and the touch of country living. But if country living is what you want, with no sidewalks, big estates, and av availability to have an ocean view, La Jolla Muirlands is exactly the neighborhood that you want to live in. Because that offers everything. 